Okay, class, so this is an Alex objective, or excuse me, an Alex topic that is called calculating a molar heat of reaction from formation enthalpies. And it says using the table of standard formational formation enthalpies that you'll find under the Alex data tab, and I'll show you how to, how to do that in just a second. Calculate the reaction enthalpy of this reaction under standard conditions. So those tables of enthalpies that we see in the back of our textbook or you know in this Alex data tab, those are gonna be under standard conditions. So at, at you know um, standard temperature and pressure for thermodynamic systems, which is 25 degrees Celsius um, and one atmosphere. And they have basically energies calculated already for us, tabulated for all of these different um, you know, reagents and products. So to do the delta H for this overall reaction, that's what we're looking for, the delta H for this overall reaction, we're gonna take the sum of the products, the sum of the enthalpies of the products, and we're gonna subtract the sum of the reactants. So this is gonna be products minus reactants, and then we'll have to take into account the different mole values here because what we look up in in um, the, the data table, that's gonna be our different um, energies per mole. So I'll show you how to look up the energy for iron oxide and then we'll come back and I'll, and I'll uh, do the rest of the problem. So here I'm gonna click on the Alex data tab and in this data and formulas section, I've got this thermodynamic properties of pure substances that I can click on. And here I'm gonna see all of that delta H uh, information for the different substances that I'm looking for. So in this case, we're looking for iron oxide uh, as one of the reagents. So I can scroll down here and I see my iron oxide here with a delta H of minus 824.2 kilojoules per mole. So I'm going to use that information uh, to solve the rest of the problem. Okay, so now that I know how to get all of my different energies, I can go ahead and sort of start, start writing out that information. So for iron oxide, we saw that that was minus 824.2 kilojoules per mole. For CO, if I do the same thing to look this up, it's minus 111 kilojoules per mole. Iron is a pure substance. That's the, my pure form of iron. Uh, so it's zero in elemental form. And then CO is minus 394 kilojoules. So the ne next thing I need to do is, is add up the sum of the products. So some of the products for iron is obviously going to be zero, right? But let's go ahead and and sort of write that out. So my sum of my products is gonna be two times zero. And I'm using this two here to indicate that I've got two moles of that iron um, because this energy is per mole. Uh, not really that relevant for iron, but very relevant for CO2. Three times minus 394 kilojoules. And then I'm gonna subtract. So this is my sum of my products. Subtract the sum of my reactants. So iron oxide minus 824.2 kilojoules plus three times CO minus 111. And then this will equal my overall enthalpy change, right? It's the difference, enthalpy is the difference between the energies of the reactants and the products. And this calculation is actually showing exactly what's the difference between the energies of the products and the reactants, that's my delta H. So let's go ahead and do some calculations here. So three times minus 394. So over here, this is gonna be minus 111, uh, minus 1182. And then that's gonna be minus this sum over here. So then we're gonna have minus 824.2. So here's, you can see, um, minus 824.2 plus, three times minus 11, 111. So that gives me a value over here of minus 1157.2. So that's sort of the sum of my energies of my products. And now I'm looking for the difference here. So now this is a minus and then a plus. So I'm gonna essentially be adding those together. So minus 1182 and then minus, the answer is a minus 24.8 kilojoules. So that's my answer. And then this says round your answer to the nearest kilojoule. So really I wanna be putting in minus 25 kilojoules. So that's my, my final answer there. All right, hope that helps.